Hi, everyone. I'm here just a few minutes early, uh, trying to give everyone a chance to come on in and settle in and get ready for the sale. So we'll just wait a few minutes, a minute or two. I'm hoping everyone's having a beautiful day. It's nice here, the sun is shining, even though it's cold. Yep, we got a couple minutes yet. I'm going to go ahead and wait and hopefully get people in here. I'm trying a different time today. Being that I'm newer, I have a hard time scheduling. There's always someone else scheduled, but I don't think you're ever going to get away from that. So I'm just trying different times every time I do this until I find a good time to schedule weekly or bi-weekly. Okay, then we, we might as well get started. It's 12 noon, and I want to say hello to everyone. And my name is Kathy. My channel is Attic Avenue. And for your convenience, my email can be found scrolling along the bottom of the screen. This is an, an actual live auction, so bear with me as I hope I can explain things clearly for you. I will do my best and I hope to get better as we begin to do more live sales. To start, I will be using the following format. I show each item up for sale and describe it as well as, well as I can. I show the starting price and allow everyone to bid for about a minute. You can go ahead and start bidding right away when you see the the starting price and then once i see little or no activity i type in g1 going once g2 going twice lc last call and the word stop to end the bidding um then I will verify the highest bid before stop was entered and declare that person the winner. 
for me to be able to send the winner an invoice, I need you, the winner, to send me your PayPal email, your real name and address, and your YouTube name, if different than your real name. If you like, go ahead and register before bidding. Just send this info to Kathy at AtticAvenue.com. And by having your zip code before sending the invoice, I'm better able to give you the best shipping price available. I normally use Pirate Ship or USPS. And I will combine shipping to help make the cost better for you. Once I've received your info, I send the invoice to your email address. And this will usually happen after the live sale has ended. Finally, once I've received your payment, your item will be shipped. So, okay, then let's get started with the first item up for bid. What I have showing on the screen is a Hemingway number 42 insulator. This is one of Hemingway's most popular and prolific insulators. It was made in the USA. It's used for telegraphs and telephones. Um, the color is a green aqua, and it has side wire groove right here. You can see the groove along the side. In 1933, Owens, Illinois, bought Hemingway Glass Company. In 1952, Kimball Glass Company took over the Hemingway division to produce Kimball Power Insulators. The last Hemingway insulator was made in 1967. This one is about four inches high, three and five eighths inches wide. And I've seen these on, e on eBay for going for 15 to $75, but I'm not, I'm not gonna start out there um one reason is because there is a, i'll bring it up here so you can see it but there seems to be a little chip or something on the top of the glass it's barely noticeable it doesn't feel rough or anything but while we're here we'll look at the writing see if i can get this clear enough Hemming Ray. Forty two. And made in the USA. On the bottom, there's like a hobnail bubble trim. It's really in very good condition. And again, it does have that tiny chip, but that's hardly noticeable. And I'll give you a minute to think about it. All right, I don't see any interest, so I'm going to go ahead and pass and move on to the next item. Okay, being it's Super Bowl, I believe, I'm going to go ahead and start out with a sports stein this is an officially licensed 
product for the Packer fans. And we're going to start this out at $10. And this is a really nice stein. And I have actually have three of these. So the first three people that would make an offer would be able to receive these. And it's in the original box. It's a vintage sports stein, and it's sculptured, really thick sculpturing on here. I'll give you a close-up. It's five and a half inches tall by four-inch diameter at the bottom and a three-inch diameter at the top. I've seen this for $45 on eBay. Of course, that was the selling price, not the, not the purchase price. So I'm going to start this out at $10 for anyone that's interested and give you a close-up look at the sculpting. It's really, really thick. Nice Green Bay Packers. You have all these football players at the bottom. So I'll just give you a minute. Yeah, look how it sticks out. That's the guy's football right there. <laughs> All right, no interest. I'm going to go ahead and pass on that and move on to the next item. Okay, I'm going to, this is a handmade item. We're going to start this out at $10. What it is is a monthly planner. I used to make them as tax organizers monthly planner. But I no longer put a particular year in it, so you could use it for year after year as a monthly planner. We have a cloth binder, and it's been covered front and back, and we have an elastic stretch band to help close, close it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take that off for right now. All of the months have been divided. Let me see. I want to get these to hang. All the months have been divided, and they have a bead as well to decorate the division. And I'll kind of go through it just real quickly to show you what we got. We got a front page here. And every, every month has, like, another piece of cloth for a pocket. You can stick papers in the side of there. And with this one, I do have a tag, but I plan on putting more tags in before I would mail it out. I just put that one there for now. So that's just, like, the introduction page. This would be the first month. What you have is another pocket along the side, 
and a big pocket right here for all your monthly papers or pictures or whatever you want um, every month is like that you get the pocket page and you get a plain page for writing anything um, I just want to show you what the dividers look like this particular one is for November and again it's got a bead on each one so that one's going to start at $10. I'll give you a minute to think about it. Okay. No interest yet. I'm going to go ahead and pass. I'm going to try and and mix up all the items, but you're going to see a lot of if you've been watching my any of my sales, you'll see repeated items. Um I've got so much to go through. My brother brought up all kinds from the basement. We have stuff in storage yet that I haven't even opened up. And my sister helps me with the description. So I'm trying. We're going to get this going sooner or later. Okay, what we have here, and this also starts at $10, is, and I have three pairs of these, so the first three people to bid on it would be the winners. They're called Melody, M-E-L-O-D-I-E, -E, Slide, or Mule. They're a size 11 extra wide. They were made in China. It's an upper man-made leather and they're brand new. We're never worn. We're starting them out at $10. And let me give you a close up of one of the shoes. You see the nice cutout design in there. We also have a little elastic stretch on the side and the bottom shows nowhere because they've never been worn so there you go there's one item up for bid i'll give you a minute here These would be great for spring and summer coming up. Okay, no interest. We'll go ahead and pass on this.
Okay, these are going to start at $5. What we have are three Dale Evans Rogers books. And the first one I'll describe is Salute to Sandy. Sandy was her son. This book is 117 pages and copyrighted in 1967. Seven and a half inches by five and a quarter inches. The Jacket is very good. The book itself is very good. There is a name written on the first page. And that one says May 1969. Um, I was looking for an index, but this one doesn't have an index, so it's a nice little book. The second book is No Two Ways About It, seven and a half inches by five and a quarter inches, 64 pages, copyright 1963. I don't see anywhere. Again, there is a name written on the front page. But the book itself is in beautiful condition. And all the pages are intact and no damage, easy to read. Okay. And the third book is called Christmas is Always. 61 pages, copyright 1958. This is the oldest of the three. Six and a half inches by four and a half inches. There's very little wear and it's all intact. Uh, there's no writing on this one. <laughs> and the cover is, the actual cover is, really cute with the bursting star design and you can see it's in really good condition all the pages are intact and easy to read so those are available for anyone that's interested All right, we'll go ahead and pass, move on to the next item. As long as we're on books, I'm going to go ahead and show this one. This one we're going to start out at $7. This is the Singer Sewing Book, the complete guide to sewing. And inside is a smaller pamphlet called Touch and Sew. The hardcover book is 500 pages. 
It's 11 inches by eight and three quarter inches with a one and a half inch spine. It was published by the Singer Company in New York, copyright 1972. The jacket cover does show a little wear at the top and on the back at the top a little bit is torn off, but the book itself is in really good condition. You can see the gold sewing machine and the title and the gold writing on the side of the book or on the spine. Really nice book. Um, all the pages are intact. Let's see if I can find the contents. It tells you about fitting the pattern to your figure, um, beginning to sew, leaving out the pattern and cutting, or laying out the pattern and cutting, seams, darts, tucks, gathers, buttonholes, pockets, neckline, waist line, sleeves, homeward bound, zippers, hems, belts, and buttons, pleats, hand sewing, and it just, the list goes on, quite a few, quite a few, quite a large content. So that's really a nice vintage book. Now the Touch and Sew is the contents is all about getting to know your Singer sewing machine, getting ready to sew, adjusting the machine to your fabric, tips on straight stitching, zigzag stitching, twin needle stitching, chain stitching, and this list also goes on and on. So those are the two items, and I'm going to offer them up today at $7 if anybody's interested. If not, we'll go ahead and pass, move on to the next item. <laughs> I'm sure you've seen these on TV. Maybe if I lay it down, it'll look a little better. We're going to start this one out at five dollars it's a as seen on tv automatic robo stir pot stir it has three speeds it's cordless it's safe for non-stick pans it's dishwasher safe and the whole purpose is to stir as you cook you don't even have to be there it does it automatically we're going to start this one out at five dollars it is new in the package never been open so i think i've seen them on ebay for more a lot more but because i want to get some activity here i'm going to start out at five dollars let me see if you can get a closer look at
and it uses four, what did it say? Four AA batteries. I'll give you a minute. Okay, no interest there. I'm going to go ahead and move on to the next item. We're going to start this one out a little less today. I'm really trying to get some activity here. This is a hand-painted picture with a yellow bird and flowers. And it also has the hand-painted trim. It was made in Italy. It's 7 inches tall by 5 inches wide from handle to spout and two and a half inches wide at the base and four and a half inches wide at the opening at the top. There are no chips or cracks. This would also make a very nice flower vase and we're going to start it out at $77 today. I'm trying to move things so I'm letting it go for less than I did before. So I'll give you a close up and you can Think about making a bid. Notice the beautiful hand-painted bird with the greenery and the flowers and the hand-painted trim at the top. The hand-painted trim is also on the handle edge and the base edge. And it's signed Italy. I'll give you a minute for that. I don't know when it was made, but it's a nice picture. Okay, then we'll go ahead and move on. Again, I'm going to go lower on the prices today because I want to get some activity. And this one I'm going to start out at $5. It's a vintage greeting cards. There's seven cards on the left inside the box the, with the envelope and the card. They are three and five eighths inches square. The box is in very, very good condition. For its age, I'm going to show you close up their little ones. And the box is in really good condition. I'm going to show you one of the cards. The envelope has got color dis discoloration. You can tell that they've got some age.
And it looks like a vellum. This one says greetings on uh, right here. And the card is in the center of the vellum. It's not vellum because it's harder, more like a plastic, but not very thick. And you can see through it, so I'm kind of calling, calling it a vellum. Inside is a poem. And again, I think these, I couldn't find any information. So they could be vintage or they could be antique. Not sure. But I'm going to let them go. There's seven of them. And I'm going to let them go for $5. For anybody that's interested. We're going to go ahead and pass on that and move on to the next item. I have, I have a lot of glassware. Um, I'm going to start this out at $5. Again, I'm going to start low, hoping to get some activity. This is a Fire King Peach Luster Ovenware Serving Bowl with a leaf design. It's 8 inches diameter at the top of the bowl by 2.5 inches tall. It's in very good condition. And I'm going to throw in the creamer, and I'll show you why in a minute. The bowl is in very good condition. See if I can get you a close-up of the leaf pattern. Some kind of vine. And I don't know. With being on white, you can very, barely see it. This I'm throwing in because there's a little paint wear there. And there's some paint wear on the side here, too. So no chips or cracks, just a little bit of paint wear. So both pieces, the bowl is in very good condition. And the creamer has a little bit of paint wear. Beautiful coloring on them, though. Otherwise, $5 to start out. Let me know if you're interested. We're going to go ahead and pass on that one. And this is a nice one. I like this. This one we're going to start out at $7 because I think it's quite fine china. It's a hand-painted green floral vase. It's five and three-quarter inches tall by two and three-quarter inch base and a two-inch opening at the top. There's no chips or cracks. But I, I want to show you the beautiful hand-painted design on the front. On the back, it's pretty plain. Looks like a scratch mark, but it's not. It's real smooth. I think that this must have gotten bumped when it got put into the kiln. So 
uh, that's not a scratch or a chip or anything. The top also looks a little rough, but it's not. There's no sharp marks or anything. It just looks a little rough. And the other thing I noticed is, I don't know if I can show you. Yeah, it's, you can see your fingers. It's really light. You can see through it. And, but it, it's not thin. It's got some weight to it. It's really a nice piece of fine china, but it's more heavyweight. I can't, I don't know if it's Czechoslovakian or if it's, let's see if we lay it down if you can see it better, or if it's um, German. I couldn't find anything on it because there were no markings. But I'll give you a minute. It's seven dollars to start with. Then I'm trying to go lower to get some activity. I have to keep doing this. We're going to go ahead and pass on this one. Okay, this one I'm going to really start low at $2. What we have here is a small porcelain bowl with gold trim around the edges and roses sculptured on the side. It's got a matte, sort of a rough finish, so I'm thinking it's, it's, um, oh, what do they call that? I can't remember, but it, to me it looks like Lennox but it has no markings three inches tall by three and a half inch opening and a two and five eighths inch base we're going to start it out at two dollars and i want to give you a close-up of those roses that are sculpted they're they're similar to the packer stein where they stick out A lot. Kind of hard to show when it's all white, but it is very nice. Only two dollars. You can't beat that. Okay, no interest. We're going to go ahead and move on to the next item. Here we have, again, I'm going to start out low. Here we have a vintage bottle. This one's from the Embalmers Supply Company in West Point, Connecticut. Seven and a quarter inches tall, two and a half inches wide, two and a half inches deep. It also has ounce measurements on the side of the bottle. No chips or cracks. I I know it's vintage, but I don't know how old it is. I'm going to give you a close-up of the writing. Now, the interesting thing is 
they don't make bottles with writing like that in, embossed or sculpted on the bottle. And on the side here is the ounce measurements, the cap screws on and off cleanly and easily, no rust, even though I found all these, or they were all full of dirt. I had to wash every single one of them. But I'm starting out low, $5 if there's any interest. I'm going to go ahead and pass. Here's a nice set. Almost like restaurant wear. It's so thick. We're going to start this out at $7 for the set. The soup cereal bowl. The pattern is called Revel, R E V E L or Red L'Oreal, R-E-D-L-A-U-R-E-L. -E -E That's that vine. Um, it's marked on the bottom, Pyrex, Double Tough, made in the USA. The term Double Tough indicates commercial pieces focused on chain restaurants, mess halls, cafeterias, etc. It's white glass opal with red leaf style pattern five and a half inch diameter at the top three inch diameter at the bottom and two inches deep let me give you a close-up of the bowl well come on And it does have writing on the bottom, but being white, I'm sure I'm not going to be able to get that out there for you. Now, the plate is a tiny bit different. It has the same Revel Red Laurel pattern. It's a Pyrex luncheon plate from the 1960s. They were both from the 1960s. The plate is marked on the bottom Pyrex brand tableware by Corning made in the USA number 70311 um, the term the term tableware indicates dinnerware sold directly to consumers through Corning's consumer products division this is also white milk glass opal with a red leaf style pattern design it's a nine inch diameter at the top five and a quarter diameter at the bottom and one inch high. So I'll give you a close up of that. And you can tell these aren't just milk glass. They are kind of milkier. They got the opal look to it, but that's what it says in the description. So I'm going with it. And I'm going to get both of these for $7. Anybody's interested, I'll give you just a minute.
we're going to pass on that. Now here's a nice item. Since I know this is an antique, I'm going to start it out at $20 for anybody who might be interested. This is Frank A. Weeks, W-E-E-K-S, Manufacturing Company. It's a double ink stand. It's an ink base with pen block rack section. It's pressed cut glass, heavy and thick from the early 1900s. It was manufactured in New York. It's eight inches wide, four and three quarter inches deep, one and one quarter inch high. It has two square openings, those are these for two ink stands. The middle area opening is for a sponge. That's this area right here. Or pins, maybe paper clips. It has beveled edges and a waffle design on the bottom. The embossing says Frank A. Weeks, Paragon, P-A-R-A-G-O-N, number 480, and it's patented. So I'll give you a close-up and let you think about bidding on that. And there's the waffle design on the back. I'll give you a minute to think about it. Really nice antique. I don't think you see a lot of these around anymore. I'm not seeing any activity, so we're going to go ahead and pass on that. Here we have a beaded purse. I don't see any beads missing. Um, I'll give you a close up. It just was bumped out of place, but it's good. It snaps. It has a magnetic snap closure. It's all cloth pretty much on the inside. It's clean. Um, it has a small pocket. It was made in China. And it also has 
a really nice beaded chain strap as well. So that's going to go for $10 if anyone's interested. Okay, we'll move on to the next item. Let me put this back. Okay, here we have a couple, two very nice flower sack towels, hand embroidered. We're going to start these out at $10. One has got the maroon red with all the beautiful hand embroidered design and the second one is the same only a green color um it's oh i believe it was a yard square three feet by three feet square now I have not washed these. I just noticed there's a little bit of a stain there, but that might come out if you wash it. The other one is, we'll take a look at the other one and this one looks absolutely clean. No stains. This one looks good. They're both good, actually. So these are going to go for, since they're larger towels, they're going to go for $10 to start. The inside, you can tell. It's got all the stitching. I'll give you a minute. I'm not seeing any activity, so I'm going to pass. Don't forget that even if you see this after the live sale has ended, you can email me. I have it scrolling. At, my email address is scrolling down at the bottom of the screen, and I, ch I will respond within 48 hours or less to anyone that shows interest through email. All right.
Okay. We're going to start this one out at $8. This is a Vermo, V-E-R-M-O, stomach bitters bottle. It's a tonic and appetizer, nine and three quarter inches tall, two and a half inches wide, and two and a half inches deep. There's no chips or cracks. And it still has the original cork stopper in the bottle. Let me give you a close-up and a minute to think about it. Vermo stomach bitters. Tonic and appetizer. Looks like there's a number one on the bottom in a diamond. There's the original cork. Eight dollars for anyone that's interested. Okay, we'll go ahead and pass on that. We're going to start this one out at $4. This is an Avon 90th Anniversary Keepsakes Cologne Bottle. It's 1976. 1.7 ounces. This bottle is about three quarter inches full. It's a California perfume Moonwind moon wind fragrance. That's M O O N W I N D fragrance. It's a clear glass bottle with a gold cap. We're going to start it out at $4 and let me give you a close up. California perfume. It has the gold band around the neck and the plastic gold cap. Original label on the bottom and it it's embossed in the glass. The Av Avon 90th anniversary keepsake. Again, that is something that's hard to find is when they do actual embossing on the glass. So that was a nice little touch Avon added to that. So
All right. No interest. We'll move on. We'll move right along. Here's a nice old bottle. <clears throat> We're going to start this one out at 7. It's a Colgate and Company bottle out of New York. It's 6.5 inches tall by 2.25 inch diameter. The trademark is embossed in the front. It has a glass stopper. Oh, the trademark on this bottle is the older one, so it's probably from the 1870s era. There's no chips or cracks, and we're going to start it out at $7. Now, this is actually a nice antique. Colgate might have put mouthwash or something in there, not sure. But there's their old logo label. Again, it's embossed, and the stopper has a nice, Simple design. No chips. So I'll give you a minute to think about that. It's starting at seven dollars. Okay, we'll pass and move on to the next item. We're going to start this one out at $7. It's a vintage green tint storage jar. It's got a hermetic wire bale with gold or with a gasket seal. It's airtight lid closure. It's made in Italy. Six inches high, four inches wide. Square based with rounded corners three and a half inch round top opening. Um, I don't know the year or the manufacturer, but the hormetic seal closure was used by various brands. So we're going to start that out at $7. Give you a close up. got the gasket and hermetic seal when you close it it has writing on the top it says it's made in Italy and I think that's for the wire I don't know if it's the jar but it's 
1062 mil, the letter A, the number 2, and Italy is also written on the bottom. So I'll give you a minute to look at that, possibly make a bid. No, no activity. I'm going to go ahead and pass on that, and we will move on to the next item. Okay. Here's a nice hand painted little box. And we're going to start this out low at five dollars this was made in the soviet union you can see that stamped on the bottom it has a hinge opening and a really nice hand painted design on the cover and inside are all kinds of stamps they're all different prices, so I'm gonna I don't know how many there are, but I'm gonna leave them with the box. You can display them or use them. But that's really a nice price for this box. I'm gonna go ahead and give you a minute. No activity. I'm going to go ahead and pass on that. Move on. Here we have a Cohen, C-O-W-A-N, Farms, two-quart bottle. It's 10 inches tall, four and three-quarter inches wide, by three and three-quarter inches deep. Um, Cohen Farms is written on the front. Better Buy Cohen's is written on the back. No chips or cracks. Uh, this is out of Oshkosh, Wisconsin. And we're going to start this out at $8. Let me give you a close-up while you look or think about it. You can see it says Cohen Farms. And it has a nice three-ribbed frame. Actually, it's an arch just around the top and sides. Um, it has two-quart embossed on the bottom 
that are by Cohen's on the back. Regular seal, the number four on the bottom. Anybody interested? I'll give you just a minute. I'm going to go ahead and pass on that. Here's a jewel tea company. I want to start low trying to get some items moving. So this one's just going to go for $4. It's a vintage clear glass bottle. Jewel Tea Company is embossed on the front. It's 7 inches tall by 2 and an eighth inches wide by 1 inch deep. Um, 3 is embossed on the bottom along with a number 1 inside a diamond. This one I'm going to start out at $4. And I'll give you a close-up while you think about it. Again, you're not going to get the labels embossed like that anymore. And again, I found all these. I had to clean all these out. Looks a little rough on the bottom but that's normal wear but there's no sharp edge or anything it's not anything to worry about I'll give you just a minute We'll go ahead and pass on that. These are all nice vintage bottles. Here's another vintage bottle. The cork is still in there, so this is also going to go for $4. This is Raja, R-A-J-A-H, Pure Extract Vanilla, two fluid ounces. It's from the Quaker Maid Company, Incorporated in New York. It's five inches tall by one and a half inches wide by one inch deep. The cork is still intact, and we're starting it out at four dollars. I'm going to go ahead and give you a close up. You can see the vanilla because I never, I did not take the cork out. And the nice thing about this bottle is that it's got the rib design on the back. I remember a lot of old coffee bottles, jars that my mom used to have that had that rib. And I just love them. I don't know if I still have them anymore or not, but that's kind of a unique design. Again, this will be starting out at $4. I'll give you a minute.
no activity i'm going to go ahead and pass move on to the next item This is cute. It's a <clears throat> frosty root beer stein or mug. It's six inches tall, three and a half inches at the base, and there's no chips or cracks. We're going to start this one out at $8. If you have a home bar or even displays steins anywhere, this would be a nice addition. Let me give you a close up. No markings or anything, no chips, heavy glass mug, frosty root beer no activity i'm going to go ahead and pass on that don't forget you can email me if you see something you like and missed out on it during the live auction just shoot me an email you'll find my email in the scroll bar at the bottom of the screen Okay, we're going to start these out at $3. These, there are six Homer Laughlin berry bowls. And they have the gold trim. They are the Empress, E-M-P-R-E-S-S -S pattern, which has been discontinued. Five inches in diameter by one inch tall. No chips or cracks. The only th problem is one of them has a little gold fading on it, but the rest of them are in very good or pretty good condition. So there's six of them. I'll give you a minute. All six of them for $3.00. Okay, no activity. We'll go ahead and move on to the next item. Here's a liniment bottle. We're going to start this out at, at um, $5. Anybody interested, go ahead and make a bit, bid. It's a vintage clear embossed bottle. Um, on the front is embossed Sloan's liniment. 
That's S L O A N apostrophe S. It's by Dr. Earl Sloan in Boston, Massachusetts. Six inches tall, two and a quarter inches wide, one and one quarter inch deep, no chips or cracks. And the number one is embossed on the bottom. We're going to start this out at $5. Anybody interested, go ahead and make a bid. I'll give you some close ups of the embossing. You can see bubble in the glass right there. That's the old manufacturing method. Left a lot of those. I guess you can't see it, but there is a number one on the bottom. $5, Sloan's Liniment. Dr. Earl Sloan. Okay, no activity. We're going to go ahead and pass on that. Okay, I'm going to just kind of skip over everything today. I don't have any viewers, so we'll make it a shorter video. Um, but I do have one more that I have to show that I'm really excited about. And... I'm more than willing to keep it, but I can easily get more. So I want to offer this. It is an Amy Amish hand woven rug. And we're going to start this one out at $50. This is a thick pile rug loomed by hand. It feels great underfoot. It's made of cotton and rayon fibers. You can machine wash and line dry or lay flat to dry. Do not put in the dryer. Just line dry it. And I've seen these going on eBay, the selling price anyway, for $150 and $175. Um, this one happens to be about 45 inches long by 26 inches wide. And I'm going to give you a minute to look at it while I explain a little bit more. You can see how thick it is. This part here is just folded in half and it goes over up to my middle knuckles there if i do the whole thing uh, here's the um stitching it's all never been used i just got these not even a week ago and they're just so soft. They're thick and soft. You can put them anywhere. I got the kind of neutral color, thinking if you put it by a door, it would hide the dirt because they are so durable. 
but they're nice in the bathroom, they're nice in the kitchen, they're nice in the living room. These are beautiful anywhere. So if anybody's interested, this is the last item I'm putting out today. I have so much to go through, but this is about, this is it. I'm going to hang it up after this one, but this is a beautiful rug. The Amish store is close to my home. They have other arts and crafts as well, but for now, I just got this. And I want to offer it to you, the viewers. I'm going to give you a minute. Oh, you just have to feel this. It's so soft. You can see it just squishing down. Imagine stepping on that, getting out of bed and stepping on a soft rug like that. Okay, if that's all the activity I have for today, I'm going to go ahead and pass. Don't forget, you can send me an email to Kathy at atticavenue.com. It's scrolling along the bottom of the screen. I ship everything from Wisconsin. Um, I need you, if you want to bid, send me an email. Tell me you're interested and I can work with you that way. I want to thank everyone for coming today. And... I will see you again. I don't know when I'm going to have the next live sale, but I will put out a preview and probably even work on getting more items. Although I'm running out of room, I need to get rid of some of this stuff. I hope somebody shows an interest soon. And then again, thank you all. I do appreciate your even being here. That means a lot to me. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.